Oh boys, we're back a little bit earlier than I thought. Colorful versus Happy, our second match of the day. Another best of seven coming up. Happy is so far the most successful player in the league. He has three wins under his belt already. Uh, no, excuse me. Two wins against Lin, who was able to win with 4-3, to three, and against Moon with 4-1. to one. That was some pretty sick games yesterday. And the day is going up against Colorful. Let's see what we get here. DK selling the TP as Happy nowadays always does. Also the sacrificial skull for a possible expansion or a fake expansion. Happy nowadays mostly plays fake expo from what we've seen. But a good colorful. How quickly he's creeping this natural as well. Might be able to expand super early here. Happy pulls back the Acolyte though. Moment of truth in a second here. Oh, there's the Wisp. Happy reacts right away. And he is actually going to play Expo. Keep it with Claws plus 9. Very nice, but perhaps we're in a position right now. Wait a minute. You can never be sure with Happy. Like I said, mostly he plays fake Expo. Oh, but there we go. More Acolytes coming. He's actually playing the fast expansion. Keeper might be trying to creep level 3 first. Go for level 2 Treants. And then attack the Expo. That might perhaps be a little bit late. DK level 2.5, but doesn't have Rotor Necromancy anymore. Tele Staff for the Keeper. And the DK gonna chase after him right away. Uh, might have the damage to take out the Honda Gold Mine. With a level 1 Treants. Oh, and the Archers are creeping in the meantime. This is super cool. Creeping up at the green. So the key will be level 3 here in a moment. And there we go. But now the Haunted is very close to finishing. 600 HP already. Ghouls in the main base. Now Colorful also has to multitask. DK still pretty far away from 3. And the Keeper now summons the Treants. Okay. Is that enough? 750 HP on the gold mine. The Keeper can't really get involved here, I guess. And again, multitasking. Both screens have to be looked at. One ghoul goes down right here. The expansion is coming up in the meantime. But Happy is not going to lose the expo. Level 3 not fast enough. Not enough damage from these treants. Happy will get up the early expansion, which is bad news for the keeper. Only upside here for Colorful is the fact that Happy isn't level 3 yet, but he will soon be. And the Lumber is also looking really good. Tech begins, but Colorful's already finished on tier 2. Could go for a Panda second here, perhaps. But definitely a bad start for Colorful. When you play Keeper, you want to be ahead in economy. You don't want to play 2 base, 2 base. But maybe he figured out something new? We'll see. Oh, Keeper... Almost! <sighs> Barely gets out. A player's forces are under attack. Happy sending the ghouls up north. The Tree of Life is still far from finished. He split his forces. Couple of ghouls south, couple of ghouls north. If that's enough. If that's enough damage, that's GG. Colorful must hold his tree. I think it should be good enough. Need to bring over Wisps for the repair. Panda creeping in the meantime. Oh, the repair. The repair. The repair! It's too late. It's too late. Keeper's staff was on cooldown. He couldn't get back to the tree fast enough. The tree goes down and that is GG. And that's why I always say you need to have Wisps close to your expansion. 
Thank you, Matt Ian, with the sub. Welcome. DK about to get that level 3. Happy about to reach tier 2. Everything is going perfect here for Happy. Colorful finds himself in an unwinnable game. But he's gonna try to win it anyways. He's gonna try to rely on strong heroes and good Dryad Micro. But it's gonna be one hell of a task. A player's forces are under attack. And uh, almost level three. Uh, this will be level three, I believe. Mass Fiend production. Happy knows he's in a great, great position. He just needs to hold on, defend the expansion, and this game must be his. Also scouting everywhere. And looking for more kills. Alright, finally Colorful finds something. This should be lots of kills going his way. Dried slow here, working out quite nicely, but some archers died in the meantime. Happy can, of course, afford these losses way easier. Ancient of Wonders over here. Proxy. Interesting. A player's forces are under attack. And now Colonova. Easy snipes on these archers. Statue soon to come. Tier 3 on the way. More and more fiends as well. Would love to see some fiend upgrades. And a good fortified position. Alright, the, sa the sapper comes in, but Happy sees it instantly. I think he saw it with the ghoul. Or did he? Ah, no. Happer, a zapper I mean, connects onto at least one ziggurat. But two towers still standing. The dryads take so much damage from these towers. One to slow, and one to put in the DPS. And once the mana is gone, it seems like there's going to be no chance anymore. Very smart also to go for the shop over here, to have potions to supply yourself with for happy. It's getting more kills. DK soon to be level 4. GG is called, and the first map clearly goes to happy. I think happy there went for... The reverse psychology play, because lately he's been playing mostly fake expos. So I think he was relying on uh, on Colorful to think it's a fake expo, to play greedy and just creep, and then he used that to his advantage to indeed expand in the end, which Colorful uh, wasn't able to harass at all. Happy takes the 1-0 lead. So far, Happy has dropped only three maps. Of course, he was the record holder in the Show Cup as well. In most competitions that he participates in, he ends up very far at the top. At the moment, Happy 1-0 and Kaho are undefeated. But Kaho only with one win, for example. Uh, 
All right, map number two. This could be interesting. Because we're going to go to Twisted Meadows. Oh. Nope. Okay. Maybe this was the wrong host. Thank you, Yui We with the resub, and Ramza, we will be as well. Thank you, thank you. Happy and Colorful have, in fact, met plenty of times in the recent past. But almost always, the games went to Happy. One time, back in June, for the Show Cup 22, that was where Colorful... Well, you know, it, it was a best of six. And he was able to get a few maps. I guess that doesn't exactly count for a series. So that means Colorful never, never defeated Happy in a series. Is that true? Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's see what we got in store for map number two. It is twisted after all. I don't know why they left the game here a second ago. I think because of the ping equalizer. Okay. All right. In we go. Two hundred ping. That's not good. is the warden. Hells yeah! Warden can be a very good hero on some maps like this one. Twisted Meadows is an amazing warden map. We saw that in the past from Lawlight, of course. I think Colorful is really good with the warden against human. But I've almost never seen him play warden against undead. Which is a very different kind of matchup. Happy Scouts it right away, by the way. Oh, happy Seal the Shadow Priest. That's painful. No way to prevent that, really, because he's supply blocked, unless you skip two wisps, but that's probably not a good idea. Alright, DK is coming over for the harass right away. Oof, Warden gets blasted. And the big mana. There we go. That's a good start for Colorful. And Shadow Priest might go down right away here. Indeed it will. This looks like a good start for Colorful if he doesn't lose the Ancient of War. 
I'll be going on a wisp hunt right away. It's gonna start the tech soon. Oh. Did you see the last hit here? Oh, but the AOW. It's so important to keep this AOW alive. Needed badly for the warden creeping. A player's forces are under attack. And it does survive. A level chasing around the DK, who's got not much experience at all, of course. But with ghoul creeping on this map, you can catch up an experience pretty fast. Happy also looking for expansions. But no, Colorful <clears throat> going for the tech as well. Very closely behind the DK here. I'd say that's a good start for the Warden. Oh, hiding Invis next to the creep camp. Oh, but he's going to fall back. Happy going to get level 2 here. Right? Yeah. Boots and Tele Staff on the Warden. Very mobile. Oh, if you can see the last hit here, that will prevent the level up, but not quite. Alright, normally with the Warden, we see double Ancient of War for super heavy creeping. Fast level 4, soon after level 5. A level 2 harassing warden really isn't that scary. It's only level 3 where she becomes dangerous. Second Necropolis. We see that quite a bit. Against the warden harass, if she's level 3 and kills acolytes, you want to be able to remake them. The Warden, not off to a bad start. She should be level 3 here before too long. And the DK going for Boots. This greatly helps with the Warden Shadow Strike. If you have Boots, you can still run away from her, even if you are getting Shadow Stricken. Good scouting also, but colorful. And now staffing across the map, looking to kill off some ghouls here. And also steal the item. Oh, a sick coil, though. But the warden got... Wait, who's the other? I happy got it. He got the mantle. Ooh, sick play. I think happy purposely left the ghouls on top of the item so the warden couldn't click the item. Happy has some experience against warden in the past, especially against Lawliot, also against Sonic, for example. Warden about to get level 3 here. That's pretty good. And there she finally has it. But level 3 is not enough. You need level 5 to be able to fight decently in the late game. Slaughterhouse also coming. And the Warden looking for an opening, but there isn't really one. A player's forces are under attack. Lots of skellies also scouting. The easiest way to lose this game for Happy would be to not be aware of a sneaky expansion. And that one running for a long time. I checked the main, saw the tier 3, so you should know it's still only one base. With that tier 3 coming. Happy's pretty low experience over here. DK is still not level 3. Player's forces are under attack. One gun staff back. I would like to see the Warden at some point go for a Panda second as well. Maybe creep level 5 first, and then go Panda second. Because Panda plus Warden late game has serious damage. It's good phone chimes. Pretty good for the bears, but apparently not good enough. Warden sells those. And 
Nappy. Just creeping up for now. I think the best strat against the Warden is... Go for a tier 3 timing attack into her main base. And expand behind it. A player's forces are under attack. No frenzy being upgraded here, by the way. Ooh, Claws plus nine on the lich. This lich is very stacked now. The Lord and get Warden gets to level 4. Ring of Regen, pretty good. But the downside with playing solo hero is you're always super slot starved. So she's probably also going to have to sell that. Oh, and there comes Acolyte number 6. This might be the expansion indeed. Frenzy Ghouls and Destroyers also on the way. Happy creeping more. Every level up for him is really big. Ooh. And he gets the Sobi Mask. Hallelujah. Warden now trying to buy time. And seems like Colorful sees this play coming. Oh, Happy trying to hide the Acolyte. Let's see, how much is the Warden going to check? A player's forces are under attack. Uh, she sees the Acolyte. Yeah, okay. And with that, Colorful kind of knows what's up. Happy is going to make another one. So, like I suggested, push into the main base. An expansion behind it. Lich pretty close to level 3. We also have a Dark Ranger joining. Warden Staff's home. And now Happy's goal is going to be to stick around here with a push for 3 minutes. And have the expansion coming up in the meantime. Oh, silence from the bear. Couldn't use the Rejuve. And the Moonwell goes down. But not that big of an army for Happy, all things considered. Dryads, of course, taking a lot of damage from these fiend shots, plus heroes. First ride goes down right away. The warden not being level 5 here is a big problem. At this tier 3 stage, the warden really needs to be level 5. Wisp scouted the expansion, but not making an Ancient of War or anything like that. Heavy target fire on the DK. He might be forced to TP home soon. Silence again, trying to prevent the next Shadow Strike from coming in. But Invo Potion used, and... Bear goes down still, though. It's level 3 for the Lich. The DK has a TP home there, being so low HP. Rebought the next TP right away. And Happy just going to use this expansion tactically for the time being. He knows the Warden's going to come there trying to cancel, so Happy instead goes for heavy... Heavy creeping. And of course, on this map, you can creep like no other. Especially with destroyers. Yummy. It's juicy dispel off here. Up of darkness. Pretty damn bad. That's one of the worst items. But the acolyte now coming to the bottom left. So Abby's gonna try to expand here. Double level ups four and three. Colorful creeping up a bit more, wants to get that level 5. And he does! This is normally the time where the Knight of retrains to Fan of Knives. Oh, but Happy might be finding a sick creep jack here. Also an item on the ground, picked up though by the Dryads. Uh-oh, this is scary. Colorful, I think he has to TP out of this. But no, he's staffing in and wants to take the fight. Silence not getting dispelled right away. Silence in general, or I mean the Dispel in general, has been a bit slow, I would say. And Happy getting ready for double expo. It is he who is playing Night Elf style. Expansions at every corner. The very low mana though. This might be a decent fight for Colorful. If he gets enough kills, he might be able to get level 6. And at this stage, it seems like he needs level 6. A player's force While the expansion for Happy is coming up. Happy still certainly supply blocked. But then we go. Where's the Abolish? Doesn't he have it? Oh, he doesn't have Abolish! Oh my god. Kalo forgot to upgrade Abolish. Huge mistake. Against the Skellies, against the Silence, you need that Abolish badly. 
And he doesn't have a dust either. Of course, again, the problem is the warden is slot starved. Doesn't have a wisp at the lab. Destroyer save. Last second. The warden shadow strike is certainly doing good damage. But between, between statues and burrow, it's easily enough to save them. And the warden's getting very little experience. I think that's just from a few ghouls. This experience that you got here. Finally, one kill for the Warden, but somehow it was denied. I don't even how that was denied. <laughs> Another deny. Oh my god. <laughs> Happy playing pretty sick here once again. Not like that's anything new. How did he deny the Fiend, though? I don't even know. Alright, Warden staffing over. I guess what else is she gonna do? But that means the main base is in trouble. And guess what? Happy has another expansion! Double Expos! And that's something that... Helpful certainly isn't gonna think about. No under double expands. Except for Happy. All the Moongal's going down. Colorful is super supply blocked. The Warden needs that level 6, but she's still so far away. Decent number of Dryads and Bears here, I guess. There will be no new units coming for some time here with the supply block. AW going down. Shop's gonna fall. Happy TPing home. Doesn't actually have a dust here, which is kind of funny. And Happy's getting hella rich. Signs on the warden. Staff gets away. Happy's gonna be making 21 gold per second here in a moment. With his triple base income. Kind of surprised that he didn't sell the orb. But it is what it is. All three heroes, all three heroes now for him have an orb effect, which is kind of cool. Dude, he killed the wisp at the lab, so he can't use reveal from the lab. This guy. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, one bear dealing with the acolytes here, but again, the space completely untouched. And I'm just gonna TP over again. Why not? Can kill the bear easy. Oh, the Warden Staff, though. Oh, okay, that was nice. Link Staff saves the bear. Still keeping the orb. Interesting. But I suppose money isn't really an issue for Happy now, is it? Black Ranger also gets the level 3. That's a lot of destroyers. Somehow Colorful was able to build a decently sized army. Four bears, seven dryads, eight dryads. Level six. That's what he needs. Level six on the warden. One blinks in, looking for more kills. The connection towards the fiends is not bad. Fiends still revealed. Get the next kill. There we go. Almost level 6 now. Also lots of triads dying in the meantime. Needs one more kill. One more kill for level 6. This one destroyer could do it perhaps. And he gets it. There we go. Warden is level 6. Pops the mana potion. But so many triads have died in the meantime. 40 supply only left. Against Happy's whopping 72.
the genius choice here by Happy was to go for the double expansion. That way, even if one is in trouble, even if one perhaps gets taken out, he's less the other one to rely on. And of course, he could afford all that expense trying to double expand because of the strong early game that he had. Early game and mid game. Bears now all in trouble. The Nova here could hurt quite a bit. More bears falling. More experience for Happy. He's about to get level 5 on the DK. There it is. And that's it. Pelifil's got basically nothing left. Happy's heroes are incredibly strong. 5 4 3, strong army, 3 bases. And finally, Happy goes for the 1-0 attack upgrades. <laughs> Feels like he had really afforded those a bit earlier, but whatever. Not like it matters. There's finally abolished, by the way. And Happy now just standing here and delivering. One kill after the next. And I think it's time for Colorful to say goodbye to map number one. This is a long series. Colorful still has good chances here for the rest. But map one is over and happy. Comes out swinging. Good game. Knew exactly how to counter the Warden. Like I said. Go for the tier 3 timing push, but don't go all in, but rather expand behind it. That's the right way to play it. And Happy even realized that a double expansion was possible for him. And if you expand in two corners, it's almost a checkmate. How is the Knight of supposed to deal with both those? Extremely hard to do. And I would say Colorful's Warden play, not quite good enough to keep up with Happy. Seems like it takes Lawliot. To kill Happy with a warden. That's the 2 0 for Happy. If he wins the next map, he's going to be on match point early. We had lots of long series back and forths. I kind of forgot about the first map for a second. <laughs> On the next map, we're going to see a more standard game. Probably. Concealed Hill. Keeper Expo, normally the only thing you should be able to play here. Colorful needs to score here. If he wants to have a chance to win this series, he must win this map. Otherwise, Happy's up by 3-0. And there's no way you can get back from that. You know what I wouldn't mind seeing here? A Demon Hunter first. Demon Hunter first, one base play. Colorful is really good with Demon. Has really good control with the Demon Hunter and the rest of the army. 
And this is a map where the undead can't fast expand. But no. Doesn't want to go demon. Keeper it is. Forces are under attack. The warden is the key. I mean, maybe, but she's so hard to play, dude. She is so hard to play perfectly. I mean, I always rejoice when I see uh, colorful. Excuse me, Lawlight playing the warden. Where just everything is working out perfectly, everything goes hand in hand with the next move. He's being hyper efficient, he's harassing, creeping, killing units, everything at the same time. But that all takes so much practice. And I believe Colorful needs much more practice with the Warden against Undead to have a chance against Happy. Players could be the normal camp here at the start. We see a lot of Keeper of the Groves trying to creep the natural early nowadays. Ooh. Wait, is this before the tech? Oh! of life before the tech that's quite the risk the skelly scout oh my god he sees it instantly sees it instantly that's not good for colorful that is not good if the expansion cancel is cancelled he doesn't have the benefit of the fast expo but also has the downside of having a slow tech very surprised to see him be so greedy here that's such a big risk and of course, Hattie, Happy is heading north right away. A player's forces are under attack. Obviously. I thought actually managing to keep quite a bit from this camp. Getting close to level 3, in fact. And the tech has now begun. Not even that far behind the undead. The moon well is cancelled. And the expansion will be as well. Happy is trying to get as much damage in with the ghouls against the archers as he can. And still cancel the tree in the end. And that is the quick cancel. Oh, keeper. Well. That's a rough position for Colorful. But there is a downside here for Happy. He invested lots of ghouls to try to get this cancel, which he got in the end. But because he didn't have any ghouls at home, he's very low lumber now. Poor last is right here. Happy gets that one. And the tunneler. Oh, but the keeper's about to get level 3 here. That'll be a nice upgrade. He's going for the Skelly because he knows the Skelly is level 3. That was cool. Gonna net him one more ghoul kill. The DK also gets the Archer. That's level 3. And that is another Archer going down. This ghoul should survive. Happy uses the coil. Ooh, keeper almost getting surrounded. You gotta be careful there. Oh, and he does get the ghoul. Oh, no way. 3 HP, dude. Ooh. Did he use the ghoul as a bait to surround the keeper? Kind of, yeah. Pretty sick. Tree of Life is coming. That's a late tree. That is such a slow tree. I think
think Happy's gonna be tier three before the tree has entangled. A player's forces are under attack. All right, the keeper needs to do some big damage here. Kill two acolytes. Oh, there's a backup acolyte actually. Oh, and the DK is ready with the staff himself. <laughs> Happy is always everywhere. He also has a skelly here, so I think he saw the engine of war. Whoa! 44 HP on the keeper. Bean transition starting to come in. We have the mass air strat by colorful again. Now needs to solo creep, and he is being given the time to solo creep. He might get level three, but Happy's taking the red. In the meantime, sniping the overlord here, which is very easy to do. Cunning. Pretty good for the Lich. A player's forces are under attack. All right, tree is gonna be ready soon-ish. What happens tier three? Coming up in just a few seconds. I think Happy could just counter expand this game. Of course, he doesn't exactly know how much army colorful has. We can see that very easily. And the answer is not much. Three hippo riders at the moment and a level two demon hunter. With some good items. Here comes the push. Naga third would be the norm. Happy waiting for the resources. There we go. Naga third picked up. She can also use function as distraction. And the demon just barely managed to get the level three in time. Oh, happy finding the creep jack, but colorful. <sighs> Importantly, gets that level up. Demon Hunter taking a lot of damage already. Buys the boots. But the Hippo Riders caught. And snare into web. Oh, more Hippo Riders. Oh, oh my god. Colorful. No. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. That's 10 supply gone. That is something you can't afford when you're getting pushed like this. Telephone is down by 11 supply with the mass air strat. I don't have to tell you, that's not good. Frost armor even on the ghouls to make life more difficult for the demoner. A uh, big mana potion, by the way, was found earlier. Kind of neglected to mention this. Demon is burning through it. But there's going to be one more coil. And uh, Demon, when he comes in, going to be nobody once again. Slow it down. Has to go for the invo potion. Now it's time to look for kills. With the boots of speed, the Demon is very speedy indeed. But not perhaps speedy enough. The kiting by Happy is again wonderful. Happy lost a single ghoul so far. That's it. Takes out the keeper, and that is GG. Ooh. It's a rough one. It's a rough one. Uh, 
Colorful so far. Receiving a bit of a beating. Just very solid game by Happy. He scouted, he figured out what he needed to know. He got his timings down, the creep route was nice. The timing push worked out perfectly. And yeah, I think that's just not the right build. Expansion before attack. It's so risky, and it's so unlikely to work against a top undead. Are we going to see the first 4-0 of the tournament? Wait, did we have a 4-0 already? No, right? No. The most one-sided series so far were 1-0 against Moon and Happy against Moon. Both with a 4-1. We are ready for the next one. Happy is looking utterly dominant so far today. Could put a quick end to our Adobe Cup broadcast today. If this one now goes to Happy as well. Of course, if Colorful gets the comeback here from 0-3, to reverse sweep. That would be crazy. But uh, far from easy. Demoner first. There we go. I like it. That's Colorful's favorite hero. And he's gonna try to shine now with his favorite kind of army and game. There's of course a big weakness to the Demon Hunter, and that is the fact that he is extremely bad against Undead Fast Expansion. But most of the time. Not always, but most of the time, Happy doesn't play Fast Expo. A player's forces are under attack. So with the ring, not the best find for him, but I think Happy has not seen the Steam Hunter yet. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> he wants to take out the Wisp first here. <laughs> All right, Coil secures the kill, but that also means if the Steam Hunter now shows up with Banner Burn, being stuck on Coil only is a bit annoying. Have a wisp here for a detonate could be quite helpful. Is Happy gonna try to brute force this expansion? He could. But he may not want to. No. He's going for the tech instead. He's trying to bait in the demoner. Try to bait him with the mana burn and then lock in the surround. Oh! And he's stuck. He just stopped moving there for a second. Poise the skelly to keep the surround. He just stopped moving. Demana just stood there. And that's the TP gone.
And we could bring this acolyte north and expand right now during the tech. A player's forces are under Is that what he's doing? He's got the sacrificial skull. Lewis is still close by. We're ready to scout. And since the Demon doesn't have a TP anymore, there's nothing really he can do about this. Rough spot. Rough spot for Colorful. At least getting good experience here. The Soli Mask for him is worthless, at least on the Demon. But Happy, a bit low lumber at the moment, so he can't afford this haunted gold mine right away. Scouting as well with the Skelly. The Demoner is going to get level 3 here. Happy coming in for the Creepjack. Switch colors. Oh, yeah, true. Oops. Demoner doesn't have boots, though, so it's going to be a lot harder for him to chase. Oh, D got level 3. Use the coil on the ghoul. Not on the berserker, kind of surprisingly. Maybe feels like he can get the berserker regardless. Colorful needs to try to save this berserker. Such an important unit. Okay, good save. Berserker survives. But the haunted gold mine is coming up. The lich is on the way. Team Hunter having a really tough time chasing down these kills without the boots. All right, Wisp scouts the expo. Demon staffs in. Oh, this should be enough damage, actually. Oh, nice play. Very nice play by Colorful. And all of a sudden, this is a playable game. Happy's going tier three. But once Happy is tier three, stopping an undead expansion here is going to be very tough. Having the narrow tower up already is a big help. I wonder if Colorful, once he's got the second hero, should just creep the lab and bring a sapper here and blow up this narrow right away. Might be a good idea. Thank you, it's DMF with the resub. Tier 3 coming up for both. Timing is almost equal. Big heal potion for Happy, very good. Uh, Colorful sold his, so not that good apparently, whatever he found. Slaughterhouse for Happy here. It's quite late. Statue production. A little bit later than ideal, I guess. But the level 3 Demon Hunter is very effective now. Can start to get in some burns. DK already very low mana. I think Colorful should force a fight right now. With Dryads, with level 3 Demon and Boots. He's very strong right here. Happy might be a bit over aggressive at the moment. Yeah, but Happy wisely realizes this is not his time to fight. He needs to retreat. Oh, but he's still poking with the heroes a bit. He's almost getting surrounded. Ooh, that was so close. He had a staff anyways. But there we go. That's what we want to see. Good mana burns from the demon. Happy completely out of mana here now. Has to wait for the tier 3 upgrades. Frenzy, destroyer form, orb. All soon to be added. Oh, colorful. Seems like he wants to take out this narrow tower. He 
doesn't have much damage against the Nerub at the moment. A town is under siege. But Happy on summons it. Okay. Doesn't want to try to hold it. Just creeping up instead in the meantime. Quite a few ghouls, by the way. Ten ghouls in total. This could be a nasty creep, Jack. Remember, Colorful doesn't have a TP anymore. Happy is checking for it. T's Colorful up there in the corner. This might hurt. The Nova could be big on three archers right away. Oh, the Lich a little bit late to the party. There he is. Three archers instantly dead. And now going to the woods, the bears right after. One bear staffed out. Saved that way. Team Hunter can't be staffed now himself. Destroy also being morphed to spell right away against. The scroll, demon almost level 4. The DK as well. Oh, demon stuck. But again, the staff comes into place. Got the double orb, uh, the double ring, I mean, protecting him. So it was three ghouls for three archers and a bear, I think. Happy going for the red. Not supply blocked anymore. Bring in more ghouls. I'm for happy something excellent. Oh, and so is the item. Ancient Django. And just got level 4 on the DK. And level 3 on the Lich. Big upgrades right here for the Emperor. Colorful needs a good one as well. Helm of Valor is very good on the Demon Hunter. He's quite tanky now. Happy could go for a Naga third. But then again, perhaps it's too late. He's just gonna play this dual hero. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, never mind. There she there she is, the Naga. Breaking into upkeep with her. Plied is unhappy, but Colorful could follow up into upkeep right away. Moonwell just finished. He's got quite a bit of gold. Quite a bit indeed. Pendant of energy. Could be quite nice. And again, the destroyer is morphed. It's time for the push. Happy supply blocked at 60. Still trying to creep more, get that level 2 on the Naga. Ultra vision advantage for the m moment. For Colorful. Happy would love to take a fight. Colorful, not so much. Oh, the Demon Hunter. Happy has got the destroyer in position to dispel the Rejuve. <laughs> He's waiting for it. Four hundred gold for happy. Can't spend it. Still no new ziggurat. Only sixty. Now finally. Oh, but the fiends. I see that only now. Very well upgraded already. 2-0 at the moment, and 2-1 coming. Colorful also with 1-2. Okay, both looking pretty good in the upgrade department. Are under and Colorful is pulling ahead in supply. This might be doable for Colorful, but Happy is creeping way more. Happy is going to get the next corner camp. I'm not giving solo experience here to anybody. Creeping it with everyone. Harry App, very good for the Naga. We got a few little creeps left over here. Some stragglers. Could be enough for the level 4. Could be enough for Naga level 3, perhaps.
Thanks to the sentries. Happy knows what's going on in the middle. He sees the army approaching. Now getting a bit of experience here and there. Still a bit of experience over there. And Lich will be getting level 4. Oh! Almost! Ah, oh, he was in range. Plus 4 intelligence, baby! The Naga also level 3. Very strong levels now for Happy. Way out crept colorful here this game. 4-4-3 four, four, against only 4-3. Happy ready to strike again. 70 supply now for him. 74 for Colorful. But Happy also has double heal scroll and a heal pot. Happy on the move forward again. His army so fast. The Frenzy Ghouls with all these auras. So speedy, man. Going over on the bear. The first one goes down right away. The DK is in the middle of everything. Getting burned instantly. They are taking a lot of damage from these nukes. Now the Dryads are exposed behind. The fiends being saved quite easily here, it seems. The DK is still with a bit of mana, not getting it all burned right away. But now it is. Mana is gone. Bears dropping low. Heal scrolls also getting committed. Happy using two of them already. Colorful also uses only one. Supply is still very even. Very, very even. More fiends about to drop. There's one more coil. Saves that one. The Dryads by themselves, not so strong anymore. Reveal is there. More fiends falling. Colorful having a decent fight so far, but the Naga. The Naga almost going down. She's got the invoke potion. With that, she survives. And now so many Dryads about to drop the two armor upgrades, by the way, helping a lot. But perhaps not enough. Ooh, the Naga again in serious trouble. The bear as well. The staff. She turns around. D-Man was ignored this whole time, but now he's getting targeted. Has to staff out. And he will survive. In the end, Happy has a 10 supply lead. So much moon juice for Colorful, but he couldn't really make use of it in the fight. Happy's trying to chase down the retreating units. And this Dryad is... perhaps dead? Yeah, no staff ready, I believe. The Rejuve getting cancelled all the time, getting dispelled. Team Hunter close to level 5, but he's not quite there yet. The Naga with Frost Armor. So much harder to bring down. That's why Happy targets the Dryads first, so that there's no dispel against Frost Armor anymore. The Naga, of course, she doesn't have the Info Potion anymore either. If the hero goes down here for Colorful, the game is certainly over. Happy's Lich also in trouble, but there's the Heal Potion he can go for. That saves him once again. The Lich getting close to level 5 over here. The Naga is about to get level 4. Happy's hero levels are completely out of control. Naga for Happy now. Almost dead. But who dies first? Which Naga dies first? In the end it might be Colorfuls with a few more right clicks. She falls. That's a level up. Naga survives. And that is game. GG. An excellent game, an excellent series by Happy. His matchup against Night Elf once again proving to be so incredibly strong. In my opinion, this is his strongest matchup of all. When he only has strong matchups to begin with. But uh, what a demonstration by Happy. That puts a quick end to our Dobby Cup day. Day 4 sees the Undeads being victorious. 1-0 to zero defeats Fortitude with a 4-2. But that was a pretty fun game. Good back and forth. Very unusual. Some wonky games in there as well. But Happy just in absolute control against Colorful. My god. My god. We have two more days of Dobby Cup tomorrow and on Thursday. Tomorrow we're going to have Moon versus Lolliant and Cow versus Soen. And on Thursday we're going to have Colorful versus 1 to 0 and Moon versus Fortitude. But yeah, that's it for me today. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, more Dolby Cup. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're also going to have the Show Cup continuing.
All right. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. I hope tomorrow we're going to have some closer series. My, ho my hopes are high. Looking forward also to see Soen once again. He's been looking pretty strong lately. But yeah, we're done for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Same time as today, 12 p.m. CET. And until then, have a good day. I'll see you soon. Take care and bye-bye.